Created by the inventor of the hoverboard, Shane combines several fascinating technologies. If you like big wheels, you'll love Shane, a new electric vehicle concept with 60-inch rims. Somehow, the wheels aren't the craziest feature, as much as the fact that there are only two of them. Created by eponymous Shane Chen, this two-wheeled, five-passenger EV looks almost like a supersized hoverboard. This isn't that surprising considering Chen invented hoverboarding years ago. This device manages to balance the front and rear of the driver through smart sensors and motors in the structure. Shane aims to do the same, but this time with five people traveling at high speed. To achieve this safely, a number of fascinating technologies need to be used. Hoverboard riders know that accelerating or slowing down on board requires some tipping forward or backward. Of course, such shifting of weight for control in such a multi-person vehicle is impractical. Instead, the entire passenger body of the vehicle moves forward or backward to reduce the experience of speed changes. In fact, the wheels also allow the body to move almost independently of the wheels, so it can absorb large bumps with little cabin impact. While this may seem like a pretty complex system, this two-wheeled setup will have some significant benefits if it is introduced. First of all, there is no steering linkage in the Shane concept. It changes direction by adding or decreasing power and speed to one wheel or another. Additionally, the layout allows Shane to turn in place, making parallel parking extremely easy and simple. Moving rendering into production is something Chen can't do alone. I look forward to collaborating with partners to bring this concept to life, he says. It also doesn't say how passengers will get in and out of the vehicle, how much power or range the vehicle might have, or who will make those six-foot wheels. Interestingly, this isn't the only two-wheeled car concept. In 1967, another car, the Euro X, made its debut. It uses the opposite layout with one wheel at the front and the other at the rear. As the name suggests, it uses a gyroscope to stabilize the car while it's running. It still runs and drives today and sits at the Lane Motor Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. It has two small wheels that stick out from the side to keep the Euro X standing when closed. I hope Shane doesn't need something similar.